What's up YouTube, BGCFC here, I'm Reese, and today we have a Shadow Paladin Mordred deck profile. First star, your grade, grade zero, full bow, you can run the Revenger one if you want, but, you know, anime style is, you know, it's, it's, it's the meta. I mean, why not? I know, right? And for the grade three lineup, first we have four copies of Illusionary Revenger Mordred Phantom. Very good start in grade three, occasionally will be your finisher but not always. Skills are ridiculous. So, Vanguard Circle, when placed, well, when a Blessed Ark is placed, you can get an imaginary gift force. It could be either one or two, depending on your current damage situation and how badly you want to crit somebody. And its second skill is, when it attacks, counter blast one, stand all Blasted Ark rear guards, and they gain 10k power. Uh, is it have to be, uh, if, if the one, Vanguard is grade 3 or yeah, greater. If, the, if, the Vanguard yeah. is, uh, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, then the skill goes off. Just Very good. Go, guys. For the secondary grade 3, I run four copies of Danger Lunge Dragon. This is pretty much the Shadow Paladin equivalent to Waterfall. So on Vanguard Circle, when placed, you can Soul Blast 1 and take a Grade 2 from your drop zone and add it to hand. So you can take a Nullity Revenger to search Blasted Ark and Mordred. Or you can, you know, Soul Blast Blasted Ark and get Blasted Ark if you were so inclined. Is then it? it's a secondary skill. Vanguard and Rearguard, you can Soul Blast a Grade 3. The Danger Lunge gains 10k, a crit, and it Sentinel... Uh, Locks your opponent, so no perfect guards. And you gotta have three imaginary gifts. You have to have three imaginary gifts in the soul for the skill to fully go off. And to the grade two, I run four copies of Blaster Dark. This is you pretty much head, headline a grade two of the deck. Mordred works with them, Nullity works, Transient works, so this is the main grade two you want to have in your deck. So four copies. Skill obviously on Vanguard. When placed, you can counter blast. Well, Vanguard and Rear Guard, you counter blast one, your opponent chooses a rear guard and retires it. Then your secondary skill, which is once per turn, you can if your opponent has no rear guards, you discard a card and this unit gains a drive plus one. So you that's can... a Vanguard circle guys. Yes. So that's a twin drive on grade two. But your opponent gotta have zero rear yes, guards. Yes, they have to have net zero rear guards whatsoever. And then my four copies of Nullity Revenger Masquerade. I mean, of course, is a revenger. You can use this as a grade two ride if you if you want. It's honestly better to use it as a grade two uh, main ride, and I will tell you why in a second. So, Vanguard and Rear Guard skill when played, check top seven cards. If you have a Mordred Phantom or Blaster Dark, you can add them to hand, but you have to retire a Rear Guard that includes itself if it's the only Rear Guard you have. So, better to use him on Vanguard. Also, uh, it's Vanguard, another Vanguard Rearguard skill, which is continuous. When it attacks the Vanguard, it gains 3k power, so you can hit with grade 3 numbers on grade 2. So 13k beats it. Pretty much. Pretty much. And then, three copies of Darkness Made a Marker. Very, this is for, like, resource material. So it's a uh, Vanguard Rearguard Axe skill. Can blast one, call a grade 1 or less from your hand. This gains 5k and you draw one card. You know, that's 11 grade 2s mm -hmm. in total. Does that mean you're running more grade 1s? Pretty much, yeah. Fair enough. Because a, a lot of people use different orders, so a lot of people either do more grade 3s, more grade 2s, or more grade 1s. But depending how they're placed out, that is the mm. thing. It depends, because uh, Marco is also part of the counter charge engine for this deck, so. Helps you. Mm hmm. For the grade ones, we run four copies of Transient Revenger of Masquerade. This is, you can pre you use this as a grade one ride if you're so inclined, but it's better for a rear guard instead. So it's skill act, counter blast one, put this unit into the soul, call it Blaster Dark from drop zone, and it gains 5k power. So this helps you bring Blaster Dark back if your opponent decides to, if, you know, if your opponent knows what they're doing and tries to get rid of them. A secondary rear guard skill is continuous. When it boosts, it gains 3k, so it's 11k booster. So technically, guys, he is a knockoff version of Monarch Sanctuary Alfred. Pretty much. Or Emma. Yeah. <laughs> and then three copies of Black Sage Karen. This is the counter charge engine of the deck I run with Maka. So it's skill when placed from ability. You Soul Blast 1 and Counter Charge 1, and this unit gains 3k. Use it with the Maka combo, it's a 26 column 
on a grade two, which is ideal if you want to, you know, rush your opponent from the beginning. And then, this really works. Mm-hmm. And then four copies of Skull Witch Namain. It's skill, uh, rear guard, rest it, take look through your deck, search your deck for another 5k unit and call it to rear guard circle. You can use it to search another domain, or you can use it to search a sword breaker, and then use sword breaker to draw a card. Which is accidentally hidden yes. under the main. Hey, don't worry. This is your you know, this is what you want if you want to search a booster for a rear guard, or if you wanna, you know, use nullity on rear guard and blast the dark on vanguard to get the twin drive, so then you can pop this for part of Nullity's, you know, skill. So, four copies of this. Basically, guys, she's just fodder. Yes. Or a sacrifice. And the secondary fodder of the deck. With draw power. Blackwing Swordbreaker. A Swordbreaker's skill is, you know, when placed, counterblast one and draw a card. If it's placed from hand, it gains 5k as well. So it becomes a 10k boost. Or a 10k or a attack. attack if you're on, you know... If you're on grade one or grade two and you don't have much rear guards, you can place this, give it 5k and draw a card. Also for like retirement if you want to use nullity skill. So we trigger yep. lineups. Yep. Four copies of Death Feather Eagle. I mean you can say you just run eight crits if you want. Yeah. So you can just show your uh, trigger lineups, you don't need to explain. And then Yeah. Eight crits. <laughs> Four Dark Side Trumpeter. Eight crits, Dan dangerous. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't put uh, Grim Reaper Revenger. Grim Revenger, and yeah, I'm surprised yeah. on that. You know, I'm going. For we the, have. I'm going for more anime style decks. Oh no, so I'm, I'm trying following. to make it more Revenger. Yeah, we we've gone Grim. I'm following Ren Summer. Leave me alone. <laughs> Four perfect guard draw triggers. So know. basically, he's a male Asuka. <laughs> you that can... minus the blue hair, yes. Well, it's the blue hair and the but fact you know, that you, you play Moon, yeah, but you still <laughs> you still flat. fanning over Ren like Asuka. I'm also flat chested on like Asuka. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, don't forget he's not a, he's not a Sundry. Yet, <laughs> yet. More perfect guard. I mean, you don't really need that much draw uh, draw power in this deck because you've got Nemon and Swordbreaker and Nullity to pretty much search I mean, through your deck for everything. I mean, you're basically running cards that deck thing mm -hmm. quickly. And then you know, four heel triggers. You know, four abyss healers so, because sta standard standard, turn. standard. So it's standard heel trigger lineup. Oh, standard trigger lineup, really. So yep. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. <laughs>